Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for Thursday, October 5th. So finally, a little chink in the armor here in the IWM, a red candle, all right? And that is the color red, and a little chink in the armor. Not that it mattered here or here, and we just kept pushing higher. So tomorrow, we'll see if we can continue uh, breaking out over that uh, 150.61 spot on the IWM. As far as the IWC, uh, this is the first red candle in a very long time. So first red candle, uh, the high today was uh, 96.63. And uh, so on the IWC, we finally got a little bit of a red candle. But as you can see, we're still above all the moving averages. I mean, we are a little bit extended on those, but, you know, sector rotation. Uh, so uh, we'll see where they want to go next as far as the market's concerned. The QQQ. Uh, you know, trying to break out over this uh, highs here of uh, 146.34. And let's see this candle here. We had a high of uh, 146.59. And back here we had a high of uh, 146.59. So we'll see if we can get over that uh, 146.60 spot for the uh, QQQ. And uh, let's see the SPY, uh, new all-time highs again on the uh, SPY just pushing up the high today was uh, 253.44 so uh, we'll see if they want to push this higher uh, tomorrow on the SPY so um, let's take a look at uh, Apple uh, this one was weak today a little bit uh, down you know a little bit less than one percent but down about a dollar on uh, Apple still below the 50 SMA trying to hug this 100 SMA on uh, Apple uh, Amazon even with the uh, euro wanting them to uh, the eurozone wanting them to pay their taxes and whatnot uh, still up today almost one percent on uh, Amazon Google uh, this one uh, you know trying to get over this 960 level right here on uh, Amazon still a fight going on there at that 960 level Netflix uh, nice pop in Netflix today off of the 50 SMA again and we talked about this in the previous videos uh, we pulled down to the 50, we bounced up, pulled down to the 50, bounced up. And over here, we held the 50 um, the whole time. So they like to buy it on the 50 on uh, Netflix. Uh, Tesla, whoops, T-S-L-A, after they got that big um, upgrade, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and a $500 price target by Nomura uh, was up 2% today. So, But still can't get over this uh, 20 SMA for uh, Tesla which is at 357.61 so um, you know watch that one if it can take out that 3 uh, you know 58 spot maybe then it gets through 360 on Tesla if you're a Tesla trader alright so that's a little bit of the markets markets still strong just basically you know sector rotation uh, we'll take a look at some of the um, you know the ETFs for the sectors real fast uh, TAN uh, not doing much today XAR is the airline sector and uh, aero defense sector uh, pushing up to highs here. XBI up near highs, that's the uh, biotechs. And uh, IBB also up near highs here. We did come out of this range and pushing higher. So we'll see if they want to take the uh, IBB and the XBI higher. Um, and uh, next up, we'll take a look at the uh, home builders, which have just been on fire here. The home builders have just broken out here and uh looking very nice and strong but uh looks like you know a lot of them need a rest you know like uh lenar they just had earnings popping toll uh moving higher phm moving higher kbh uh you know popping so hard to chase these up here on uh kbh and uh the home builders uh xlf uh continues to grind up and uh, you see jp morgan uh pushing higher today was down a little bit but citigroup uh, maybe a little bit of indecisive candle here. Uh, bank America, Wells Fargo, Zion is a regional bank. Uh, KRE, you know, a little bit of red today. So maybe we're going to get a little bit of pullback in these uh, banks uh, on the XLF after this nice run off the $224 area for the XLF. Uh, for uh, XLK, the tech sector, you know, still holding up here uh, like the Qs and NVIDIA. Uh, we'll take a look at that one. I forgot to take a look at that when we were looking at charts. Uh, NVIDIA, you know, popping up here, holding this 180 number, still holding above that 170, 
breakout on NVIDIA XME. Uh, you know, back a little bit of a inverted hammer here on XME. Um, XRT, the retailers, you know, even they bounced. They've been hanging around this 200 SMA on the uh, XRT, XLY, the consumer pushing up here on the uh, XLY. So, you know, it's all, you know, the market may be stretched, but it looks like, you know, sector rotation lives on in this uh, bull market. All right, so that's a little bit on the markets. Now we'll get into some of the news. So let's go ahead and we'll look at the futures real fast. The Dow futures are down about three. S&P futures are flat. NASDAQ futures are flat. Going into the evening session, it's about five minutes to 7 p.m. Uh, for our calendar for tomorrow, for Thursday, October 5th, uh, companies reporting earnings uh, tomorrow uh, before the bell, ISCA and uh, Constellation Brands, STZ. Uh, after the bell, you have Costco, uh, H-E-L-E, and uh Y-U-M-C, and this is Yum China. So tomorrow, Thursday, after the bell, Costco and Y-U-M-C, Yum China. Before the bell, Constellation Brands, STZ. Don't forget, we do have the jobs number coming out for uh, Friday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's on Friday the 6th. So for some of our economic information coming out for tomorrow, uh, we have the 7.30 Challenger Jobs Cut Report, uh, initial job claims at 8.30. Um, we have a bunch of Fed speak going on tomorrow, 9.10, 9.15, 9.30. So they're all pretty much uh, batched together. Um, 10 o'clock factory orders, 10.30 nat gas. Um, and then uh, we have Fest, Fed speak at 4.30 p.m. on uh, Thursday, Esther George. And that's about it for uh, tomorrow for Thursday. But we also have Fed speak on Friday. Um, so, and then you have that uh, jobs number, the non, non farm payrolls for 8 30 uh, in the morning on Friday, October 6th. But tomorrow is um, October 5th, Thursday. So that's your information for Thursday. If we go ahead and take a look at uh, some of our top gainers, and uh, this is from courtesy of the Trade Exchange and uh, RGSE. STRM, CTMX, CPST, FCEL, uh, MTFB, uh, MYL, VNet, RIGL, GENE, ATNM. Uh, for the losers, and uh, we have CLSN, NETE, uh, ODP, Teva, MNTA, um, GRO, and GoPro, all down today, losers for the day. Uh, options activity to the call side. We had CPLP, CSCO, Cisco Systems, DDD, Ford, FTNT, Kroger, KR, uh, C's, SEAS, and um, Verizon. Uh, to the put side, AL, AXP, Campbell Soup, uh, HRB, R, RSG, and uh, AT&T, T, letter T. And that's your uh, put activity. For your earnings calls for tomorrow, 9 o'clock, you have uh, ISCA, STZ at 10.30. After the bell, we have HELE and Costco at 5 o'clock uh, for Costco for the um, earnings call. Uh, some news that came out after the bell. Uh, let's see, Costco just added uh, grocery to their website, including delivery. So Costco, uh, trying to fight back against Amazon, will be doing uh, grocery on their website. So that news came out after the bell. Let's see if there was any uh, reaction in the uh, Costco here. COST, uh, not much reaction so far. Uh, next up, uh, ACAD had a, a pop after hours, and they got a grant. Um, so they popped on ACAD. Let me close this up a little bit for you. Uh, as far as some other news uh, that came out after the bell, uh, we'll scroll through real fast. And we had uh, C's, SEAS, after that call option activity noted by the trade exchange. Uh, talk that they consider a sale is uh, circulating. So SEAS uh, popped after hours, pulled back on that name. Uh, next up for some news, uh, RGSE was on a conference call at 415 RGSE, and uh, that stock after the big run pulled back a little bit on uh, RGSE and after hours. Uh, GSAT filed form S3ASR, 
Uh, next up, we had uh, RECN had earnings in line, RECN, and uh, that one pushed down a little bit in the after hours. Uh, next up, let's see if there was anything else. Um, EKSO filed uh, 20 million EKSO, so they filed stock is down in after hours. Um, EBIO also filed EBIO offering and that stock uh, down in after hours uh, tonight. Some top insider purchases after hours tonight. We have MRIN and MRIN and uh, not much action there right now. All right, so that's some of your top news stories after the bell for um, today, Wednesday. And um, we'll go ahead and get right into the stocks to watch list momentarily. So look, if you're a day trader, swing trader, I have a service for you. All right, we do swing trading and day trading at my service, uh, zozostockwatch.com. And this is the join me page. If you'd like to come and try for $9.99, you can try us for seven days. And that's for $99.99 and give us a whirl. And um, come check out the room. If you just want to do swing trading for $29.95, you can get access to my private feed and you can join up here and you would have access to the private feed for just swing trade alerts and uh, they would connect to the twitter private feed and then also go to your uh, mobile phone uh, so that's 29.95 for that now um, if you want to join a, for an annual subscription uh, it's 849.95 and 465 for the semi i'm also including uh, you get choice of four uh, zozo trade idea scans included in this price you get two months free one month free for annualized for the semi and you get two uh, trade idea scan codes of your choice all right and um, if you want you go here you must have a uh, trade ideas uh, to have to be able to access the codes but if you're a trade ideas user and you want to join my service um, here on the scan page, we have a list of scans and I sell them separately too. So if you'd like to try them, um, you can do it through joining for uh, either the yearly or semi, or you can buy them individually on the scan page. All right. So thank you very much for listening to that. And we'll go ahead and get it right into the stocks to watch list. All right, so for our stocks to watch list, we have uh, ABIO kicking it off, and uh, you see the volume, uh, expanding volume here, got up to $1.55, breaking out over the 50 SMA, finally. So we'll see if there's any kind of move in this uh, ABIO for tomorrow. Uh, next up, we have ATNM, and uh, trying to get over this uh, 75 cent spot. Uh, volume came in of 5 million shares today on ATNM. So we'll see if this can break this uh, 75 cent spot on ATM, ATNM if you like to play those smaller names under a dollar. Uh, Bitta, uh, this one is starting to break out. So the high today was uh, 47.61. Uh, we closed at 47. So we'll see if we can get back over uh, that 47.61 spot on uh, BITE. CHGG. Uh, kind of breaking out of consolidation here 1.8 million shares traded we did have a high today of a 1565 we closed 1548 so uh, 1570 uh, might be enough to really get this chg going education and training services uh, cLLs uh, starting to break out of this wedge formation here and uh, it's basing under 30 the high today was uh, 2947 so maybe 2955 is enough to get a CLLS uh, going so keep your eye on that one CTRV nice pop nice volume today uh, got over this uh, 70 cent spot here 10 million shares CTRV another one of these under one dollar names but if you like those uh, this one is popping back over all the uh, 50 and the 100 SMA for CTRV uh, dries and we'll take a look at this one on a uh, 30 minute chart and you see it's uh, trying to break out over this uh, 320 325 spot here on dries uh, so far no luck um, so it's staying in this tight channel, but on this 30 minute chart it is above the 65 it's back above the eight and uh, So, you know, maybe dries is looking to you know move out uh, ECYT and we'll go back to our daily chart uh, This one showing uh, major strength here holding five back up to 610 today uh, So we'll see if this sets up on an intraday basis on ECYT ESEA uh, nice pop here today another shipper so the shippers are you know kind of heating up and we'll just look at some others 
Uh, maybe the ship is going to get ready to pop here over this uh, 120 spot on uh, SHIP. So keep your eye on some shippers. Um, let me just take a look at GLBS. Uh, that one popped but gave it back today. Um, so no go on that one. So that one doesn't look as pretty as uh, ESEA. And once again, that's a 30 minute chart you're looking at. If we go back to our daily, uh, we have ETRM kind of percolating here underneath the 50 SMA and you know that 250 number uh, we're at 206 so the high today was 219 so we'll see how this sets up uh, intraday you know it's been getting some big volume 2.3 million today so that one should be on watch INPX this is another one of those under you know this one's under 50 cents uh, 14 million shares traded so the obvious number here is 50 cents and uh, we'll see if it can get through that on INPX um, on that name ITUS uh, after this big run up up to about five and change it's pulled back trying to hold this 200 SMA here on uh, ITUS on the daily chart and around that 250 number if it get, gets back over you know three bucks three and change uh, you know you might get a move in that one uh, MBOT was um, perking up uh, today and uh, trying to get over that dollar fifty area on MBOT got as high as a dollar forty nine. So I'm thinking, you know, if this one can get over maybe a dollar forty two, you might get that continuation in uh, MBOT. Some volume finally came into the name, uh, seven point eight million shares. MTBC big big push up today, all the way up to five fifty, and uh, now we'll see what they want to do with it um, and see if it sets up uh, intraday on uh, mtbc and uh you know this one uh, made a big strong move here 28 over 28 million shares traded in that name uh mzor starting to pop up here mzor hit uh 5220 today so we'll see if this one uh, sets up but this one looks interesting uh we'll look at the weekly on this uh kind of getting ready to break out over you know nothing in the way here on mzor so possibly a nice swing trade in that name, MZOR. ONCS, nice pop today. Uh, over 700,000 shares traded. Um, and it got as high as $1.07. So uh, maybe this one, if it sets up uh, intraday, another biotech name. Uh, RIGL uh, pulled back to the 5 EMA, holding the 5 EMA, holding this $3 area on RIGL and uh pushed up nicely so we'll see if this has maybe a red to green type of move today uh seas -E um this is the one that popped in after hours on that uh maybe they're going to sell themselves chatter type of news uh so we'll see if there's any action in c's and it also had the uh, call activity sorl came up on a scanner this afternoon and uh this one is holding the 400 sma here down at the bottom uh, that purple line you see there and uh, got 1.1 million shares so we'll see if there's any type of follow through in that name tomorrow uh, strm nice pop here uh, up to about 275 so we'll see if this sets up intraday maybe a red to green or something like that uh, uh, strm like i said popped and looking for this one maybe to go red to green uh, twitter uh, this one's trying to maybe get over this $18 spot, 17 million shares on Twitter. Uh, the high today was 1782. So maybe 1790 is enough to maybe finally push us through this 18 spot on Twitter. I think a snap took a hit today. SNAP. Uh, yep. And snap was down a tad today. So, uh, Twitter actually looks stronger right now. Um, if it can get through that 1790 spot, 1785, uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, Facebook. Um, that one, uh, sold off a little bit today. So Twitter right now looks to, looks a little bit stronger than the other two. Uh, Vonage, uh, maybe possible swing trade here. If this name can break out over the highs today of 858, so maybe like 860 on VG for a possible continuation move. Not a fast mover. This would be more of a swing trade type of play on, uh, VG. Uh, XXII. Uh, nice pop over three. We were watching this one in the room today. And uh, so we did get that pop over three bucks, 3.8 million shares traded. So looking for some kind of continuation move. Last time we played this one, uh, we played it over this, uh, you know, 248 spot here. And we got a nice jam up to about, uh, what, 334. Now we didn't get all of this, 
but uh, we got a nice play in this one the last time so maybe it wants to uh, go back and test the highs again on XII all right so that's your watch list for tomorrow listen come and check me out Zozo stock watch you just uh, spend ten dollars you can come be in the service you can get access to the private feed and you can see how we uh, trade uh, during the day for ten dollars so hope to see you there and thank you so much for being a uh, loyal on youtube and i'll see you out there on twitter uh zozo stock stock watch on twitter and zozo stock watch on stock twits please hit the like button if you like these videos and also retweet them if they're giving you good information have a great evening all thank you so much for listening